Drivers ready to go then for the Super National Final here then. It's going to be Jason Bleasdale who starts on pole position with Volok and Bellamy alongside. Ready to race board on. Green light and go. Good start then from Bleasdale. Great launch also from Bellamy off the outside and she leads. Paige Bellamy leads into the first corner from Bleasdale from Volok who gets no room given to him at all by the Vauxhall VX220 of Jason Bleasdale then. So Volok holds on to third position but it's Paige Bellamy with an emphatic start from the outside of that front row of the grid who has the advantage, she now leads the way, coming through the s bend through the first series of corners, from Bleasdale, from Slamir Volok then. Lee Keeler bringing up the rear in fourth position then in this race, and sadly we didn't get to see John Ward in this one, the Irishman uh, making his return to the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship, and Volok very deep into the brakes on the hairpin bend there, and it was their contact, I don't think there was, I think he just might have outbraked himself coming into that corner, and either way, well that is a, a nasty end to the race there for Slamir Volok, and hopefully he can get that car recovered and back out in the race. I, I wonder for a brief moment if there might have been contact with Jason Bleasdale, and my mind is going back to that thought now because I can see that he's now behind Lee Keeler. Going into the Joker then is Jason Bleasdale. Lee Keeler continues on his normal lap, as did uh, Paige Bellaby, the race leader now, but Slamir Volok from challenging for the podium positions is now sitting plumb last in this race. So a big drama there for, for Volok. Jason Bleasdale, meanwhile, Let's see what is going to happen then for the Vauxhall VX220 uh, driver who is now Joker. Got himself out of traffic of Lee Keeler. And let's see whether Volok is going to be able to recover. I think he might have just outbraked himself. I can't see any visible damage on his BMW machine. So as such, I think it might have just been a case of him locking up the brakes, going into the hairpin bend. Very easy to do so when you're trying to fight for position. But it's now Bellaby that uh, leads the way then. Lee Keeler sits in second position, but of course he hasn't made that joker. So it's Jason Bleasdale then behind the wheel of that number 67, who is going to be the man who will inherit second place once Keeler behind the wheel of that new Vauxhall Astra makes his joker. Keeler, of course, only in his second uh, event in the Super National class in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship and coming under all sorts of pressure now from Jason Bleasdale, but no such dramas for Paige Bellaby, who has been very quick so far here this weekend. And so that's to the surprise of absolutely nobody at all out there on track, because we know how quick she can be uh, throughout the course of uh, the season. Bleasdale now up the inside and through ahead of Lee Keeler then into second place. Keeler, of course, as we said, still owes that uh, joker lap in this race. Keeler with the uh, impetus to try and do a little bit more in the Super National class. He's been struggling with no power steering all day, as I understand it, so it'll be good to see him uh, fighting up the sharper end of the grid if he is uh, able to do so. Paige Bellaby still continues to lead the way then as we reach the halfway stage in this race. Bellaby, of course, the reigning champion from 2020. Let's not forget it was a tail championship only three rounds in 2020 owing to the COVID-19 pandemic which of course we've all been suffering through and Bellaby doing a fantastic job of continuing her title defense in that Lotus Exige out on track coming through into the left-handed hairpin we go once more onto the back straight and a nice clear track in front of her will be a very welcome sight indeed there for Paige Bellaby separating her from the win and the final is just two laps here at Pembrey. Bleeds down now into second place ahead of Lee Keeler, of course, as we know. Is Keeler going to be able to hold off the charge of Slamir Volok? We know how quick Volok's BMW is. It's going to be an interesting affair to see whether that proves to be the case, but I wonder whether Volok may have a little bit of a mechanical issue owing to that mistake that he made earlier on. Perhaps it wasn't a driver error, perhaps it was a mechanical fault. Let's wait and see what happens as we get ready to come over the timing line once again. We're on the penultimate lap here then of the Super National Final for Round 3 with the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Through into the left-hander we go. Bellamy still leading the way from Bleasdale then. Eight seconds, the gap sits between the two. Keeler coming under pressure now then from Slamir Volok as they come through into the first series of corners. If Keeler can hold on to a podium position, I'll be very surprised because we know the straight line speed of that BMW is very fast indeed. So through to the right and then the left we go. On to the back straight. Keeler 
is he going to be able to hold off the charge of uh, Slamir Volok then as they come down the back straight look at how fast that BMW is and there's just nothing that Keeler can do so Volok gets himself back into third position he'll be pretty pleased with that following the earlier mistakes that he made in this race so Volok now into the podium positions and Bellaby on her final lap of racing then here at Pembrey for round three so it's Paige Bellaby behind the wheel of the number 22 who has driven absolutely supremely out on track here at Pembrey through into the left hand as she goes and just a couple more corners separating her from the win of round three in the final of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship Bellamy comes over the line in the Super National category to win the final of round three ahead of Jason Bleasdale in the Vauxhall VX220 Slamir Volok is going to come home in third position at the checker flag behind the wheel of his number 60 and then it will be Lee Keeler behind the wheel of the number 32 Vauxhall Astra VXR who comes home in fourth position but a uh, brilliant result there for Paige Bellaby she's got the door open arm out of the window and celebrations are plenty for the number 22 and rightly deserved as well